Should people who commit crimes as juveniles but are sentenced as adults be given a chance to get out of prison early? That's what one state senator is exploring, but some victims and their families are outraged over this proposal. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live in the Newsplex this evening with details. Rebecca. Well, Dean Senator Bill O'Neill says there are dozens of inmates who committed crimes as minors but are sitting behind bars for almost life sentences. He's now vetting out the possibility of getting some of those people out early if they show signs of rehabilitation. He was the light of life. He could find beauty in anything. The family of Stephen Garrick still feels the pain every day. His death started a storm and uh, I entered that storm along with my family and the community, and I don't even know how I survived it or got through it. The well-known local bartender was shot in 2015 when a group of six teenagers went on a mobbing spree across Albuquerque. I've come to a point of acceptance of where I'm at, and it's kind of released me from the anger. Two of the teens were sentenced as adults. Now, Senator Bill O'Neill is looking into potential legislation that could give those who committed crimes as juveniles but were sentenced as adults a chance at parole. We have a situation where individuals are doing 60 years, 70 years, 80 years through what's called stacked sentences. So it's, it's, it's equivalent to life without parole. He says there are currently 41 inmates in New Mexico in that situation. He's vetting out the idea, but says he won't move forward unless he has bipartisan support in the legislature. Just basically, are, are individuals salvageable? And some aren't. Some are not. But he says if juvenile offenders have shown signs of remorse or redemption, they should get the chance to have a parole hearing. Are they ready to be released? And that's, I just trust the parole board to make a good decision that way. But for people like Garrick's daughter, the idea is a hard pill to swallow. I feel like Senator O'Neill's inquiry is a slap in the face to victims of violent crime. Now, O'Neill says there will be a joint interim committee next week uh, to discuss this idea. CYFD psychiatrist, a retired Supreme Court justice, and a juvenile offender who was released from prison will all be there to weigh in. Dean. Okay, Rebecca, thank you. The senator also invites any victims and victims' families to attend the hearing to discuss this idea.